comment section of our YouTube video that you would like a video from our side on the scattering parameters in EMT. So scattering parameters are basically related to the two port network as well as EMT but it is only specific for ECE guys never has been a question asked for electrical in scattering parameter. So now first let us understand what is meant by scattering parameter. So when we talk about scattering parameter we show that there is a two port network like this. Then we show waves. Basically, waves are being incident on our two port network. This is said to be A1, B1. This is said to be A2 and B2. Now basically, this A1, what is it? A1 is the incident wave at port 1. Similarly, A2 is incident wave at port number 2. B1 will be reflected wave at port 1. B2 will be reflected wave at port 2. Okay. So B, sub, uh, B symbol represents the reflection and A is used to represent incidence. Now what happens here is when we incident some energy at any port of the network, some energy will get reflected and some will get transmitted. So now how do we relate these? We relate it like this. B1, B2 is basically written something like this. S11, S12, S21, S22, then A1, A2. Okay? That is the relation between the reflected waves and the incident waves we call it as scattering parameters. These parameters are called as scattering parameters or S parameters. Now what is their physical significance? So let us discuss their physical significance. So first of all S11. S11 will be calculated how? It will be B1 upon A1. B1 is basically reflected wave at port 1. Okay. Negative sign indicates reflected. Positive sign indicates incident. So reflected upon incident is nothing but reflection coefficient. Similarly, S12. S12 will be how much? B1 by A2. A2 is the wave incident at port 2, B1 is reflected from port 1. So it is called as reverse voltage gain. Because you are incidenting at the output port that is 2 and you are taking reflection from port number 1. Then S21, S21 will be how much? B2 by A1, V2 minus by B1 plus. Forward voltage gain. Okay. And the last one, S22, B2 by A2, that is V2 minus by V2 plus is your reflection coefficient. But the first one is reflection coefficient at port 1 and the second one is reflection coefficient at port number 2. Okay. So now what happens is, there are some points from EMP that you should also know is that the boundary condition, what are the boundary condition in a transmission line? Boundary condition are that incident plus reflected wave is always equal to transmitted. So if you short circuit a line, this transmitted wave will become 
which means reflected wave will be negative of the incident or you can say V minus is equal to minus V plus. Okay, that is one line that you need to know. And the other thing that you need to know is what happens if a line is terminated in characteristic impedance. Okay, if you terminate the line in characteristic impedance that is load impedance is same as Z0 natural or characteristic impedance. In that case there is no reflection. These two things you must always know. One what happens when we short circuit the line, other what happens when we terminate the line in characteristic impedance. Now let us look at the problem which is shown on your screen. This was asked in KTC. So what it is saying is scattering parameters are given like this. S11, S12, S21, S2. Now it is saying the port 2 has been short circuited. If port 2 has been shorted, if you think in terms of D2 and D2, D2 was reflected, it should be negative of the incident. Now, these scattering parameter can be written like this. B1, B2 should be equal to S11, 12, 21, 22, A1, A2. Now if you write the equation of B2, it will be S21 A1, S22 A2. Now I am saying due to short circuiting, B2 equal to minus A2, S21 A1, S22 A2. So how much is A1? A1 is negative of S21 by 1 plus S22 now once I have gotten the value of A2, it has asked me the value of S11. Now from these scattering parameters if I write B1, B1 can be written as S11 A1, S12 A2. Okay? Now if you want to find out S11 effective, it will be B1 upon A1. Okay? Now if we substitute the value of A2 in terms of A1, we will substitute this value. Thank you.